and girls. We've missed being with you for the last couple of months. We're so happy to be back and to be able to share with you some more Sabbath School programs. I'm Miss Rhonda. Here's Roman, my grandson, who's going to be helping us today. He's dressed like little boy Jesus. Could you guess that? And our program this time is about happy boy Jesus. We want you to come and enjoy it with us. Now, if you tell your moms and dads, in the description below, there will be a link. And in that link, you can find all of the words to all the songs that we're singing with all of our props listed as well. So if you have your mom and dad, click on that link. It will take you to our church website and you can print this off for yourself. So you'll have all the words and you'll have all the props that you need so that you can do this program with us at home. It'll be so much more fun. I'm so happy you're here with us, and we're gonna get ready now to start our Sabbath School. Well, it's time for Sabbath School to begin, and if you listen carefully, you might hear the, the clock tick-tocking and telling it's time for Sabbath School. So let's get our sticks and let's make the clock sound together. Are you ready? Be quiet and listen to the clock. Be quiet and listen to the sounds of clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's time to ring our Sabbath bells. Are you ready to ring your Sabbath bell with us this morning and welcome the Sabbath day? <laughs> doors of the church and see who has come. And each one of you has come to Sabbath school too, and I'm so glad you're here with us. Before we do anything else, boys and girls, we want to invite Jesus to come and be here with us, don't we? So when we pray, we bend our knees, Hold our hands, close our eyes, and bow our heads. Can you do that with us as we pray this morning? When it's time to pray, I bend my knees. for this wonderful Sabbath day. I thank you for all these boys and girls that they can come and join us in our Sabbath school. We invite you to be here with us, Jesus, and your angels too. Thank you, Jesus, for coming, and we love you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Amen. Every week, we study our Sabbath school lessons at home, don't we? And our Sabbath school lessons come from a very special book. Do you know what that book is? What is it, Roman? The Bible. It's the Bible. I have a real little Bible here. Roman has a pretend little Bible, and inside it has lots of pictures. This is God's word to us, and it is very, very special. So as we learn our lessons every week from the Bible, we should be thanking God for his word. It's his special word just for us. Shall we sing our Bible song, the B-I-B-L-E? Let's sing it together as you look at your little Bible. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the word for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Okay, boys and girls, it's time to say our memory verse today. 
And I have Annie here who's going to help us to say it. Will you say it with Annie? I know you will. Our memory verse this time is about God's commandments. So let's say it. I'll say it and you say it. Okay, Annie? Love me and keep my commandments. Exodus 20, verse 6. Verse 6. There you go. Good job. I'm sure you said it with your mom and dad, too. I'm so glad you're learning your memory verses, boys and girls. All right, let's get on with our program. I'm so glad you're learning your memory verses, boys and girls. Putting your God's word in your little brain is a really good thing for you to do. Let's clap our hands and sing, I'm glad I learned my memory verse. I'm glad I told them, it's time to go back to Nazareth. It's safe. And so Mary and Joseph got on their donkey and little boy Jesus, and away they went back to Nazareth. So we're going to take a donkey ride this morning. If you don't have a donkey at your house, maybe you could get mommy or daddy to get down on their hands and knees and give you a ride. I think that would be fun too. Are you ready, Roman? Okay, let's go for a ride. A 
another way that little boy Jesus would help was he would help with children. Jesus loved little children and especially little babies. And if a baby was crying, I can just imagine little Jesus would grab that little baby and love it and hug it and tell it not to cry. So I'm going to get out my little baby and Roman's got a nice baby. Let's rock our babies and tell them not to cry, shall we? Joseph was a carpenter and he worked in his shop all day long building furniture I can imagine and anything that was needed that people wanted well I can imagine that little boy Jesus liked to help his daddy in the front in the carpenter shop don't you think so let's help Joseph in the carpenter shop today by getting a hammer or a little saw Pretend ones, of course, and let's help in the carpenter shop, shall we? something to play with or something that they did where they had to take turns. So let's take turns this morning. Roman's going to ride, then it'll be your turn, okay? I'll take turns with my tractor. I'll take turns with you. I'll take turns with my tractor. For Jesus wants me to. All right, are you done your ride? No. I'm sure that Jesus also had two of something and maybe somebody else didn't have any and he wanted them to be happy too so Jesus learned to share what he had with others maybe it wasn't a horse like Roman has but maybe it was even his food maybe two pieces of bread and he saw somebody who didn't have any and he was willing to share with them so let's pretend we're sharing this morning, shall we? I have two horses and a to your dog or cat while we sing our song. care of them. Let's gently pet our kitty cats while we sing. Little Jesus liked to pet the kitty cats, the kitty cats, the kitty cats. Little Jesus liked to pet the kitty cats when he was a child. Do you hear the bird, Roman? That's a beautiful sound, isn't it? 
I love to hear the birdies sing, and I'll bet Jesus did too. Shall we pretend we're birds today and sing along while we flap our wings and fly around like a birdie? Okay, let's do it. Little Jesus like to hear the birdies sing. I can imagine that Jesus liked to sing too, don't you? I think so. When we sing, it somehow makes us happy, doesn't it? It lifts our spirits. So we're not only going to sing, we're going to play some instruments. So if you have some instruments, even if you have an oatmeal can that you can pound on, let's make some joyful noise to Jesus as we sing, shall we? Not only did little Jesus learn to sing, but I'm sure that little Jesus learned to pray too, didn't he? He loved to pray to his Father in heaven. And what do we do when we pray, Roman? How can we pray? We can kneel, we can bow our head, fold our hands, and close our eyes. Let's do that while we sing this time, shall we? Little Jesus, I am sure he loved going to the synagogue, which is what they called church back in those days, with his mom and dad on Sabbath mornings. And before he would go at his home, I'm sure he studied the scriptures. His mommy taught him from the scripture scrolls, just like your mommy and daddy teach you from the Bible. So Jesus would go every week as he would go to the synagogue, and he would see the priests there or the rabbis reading from the scrolls. And as he got older, he went to the temple in Jerusalem with his mom and dad. And he had learned the scripture scrolls so well that he was able to talk with the very learned men there in the temple. Let's take our little scrolls and let's sing this morning about Jesus in the temple. The temple, the Boys and girls, I don't know about you, but I love the Sabbath. The Sabbath is such a happy day, and I'm sure Jesus loved it too. Let's clap our hands this morning and sing Sabbath is a happy day, shall we? Sabbath is a happy day. having Jesus in their home made their home very happy. Just like your mom and dad are so happy that you're in their family. Let's sing this morning about with Jesus in our family. We have such a happy home, right? Let's sing together. With Jesus in the family.
boys and girls, Jesus made his home such a happy place to be in, and he was happy all the time. He was never pouting, was he? And you know, he's happy even now, and he loves us so, so much, and I want to show my love for Jesus too, don't you? Let's bring our hearts this morning and give them to Jesus. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. to our Bible lesson. Let's get some wiggles out, shall we? Can you stand up tall like with me and with Roman? And let's do some actions together. I can stand up tall like this, like this, so I can stand up tall for Jesus made me that way. Can you swing your arms? I can swing my arms like this, like this, so I can swing my arms for Jesus made me that way. Can you march? I can march around If you're going to cross the street and you see this sign in red, it means don't walk. And if you see this sign with the man walking, what does that mean? Walk now. Yeah, we can walk now. That's right. Well, do you know what? Those are all special rules that we obey. Now, what would happen if we didn't obey those rules? The car came in. Could you get hurt? Yes, you could. You could get hurt, and that would not be a happy thing, would it? And that would be so sad. And they will um, crush us over. Then, yes, you're right. They could crush us and come over us if we were walking. They will not over. Have you ever seen an accident where two cars would hit each other? And that's not, not a happy thing, is it? That's so sad. People get in trouble when we don't obey the rules of when we're driving. The rules are there to keep us safe and to keep us happy and to keep us well and strong. If we didn't have those rules, would we be happy? No, there would be so many car crashes 
and so many people would be getting hurt. So we want to choose to obey those traffic rules. Now, Annie, tell me, does your mommy and daddy, do they have some traffic rules, or not traffic rules, but do they have some rules for you in your home? Do you have some rules that you have to go by? I know that in my house, we have rules like always brush your teeth. Do you have that rule to brush your teeth? Yes, mommy and daddy tell us to do that. Maybe you have a rule for bedtime. It's time to go to bed now. Mommy and daddy know what's best, don't they? And so we go to bed. Can you think of any other rules? How about this one? Don't eat between meals. That's not best for us, is it? No, these are rules that our mommies and daddies tell us so that we'll be happy. How about the rule, wash your hands before you eat? Is that a good rule? Yes, it is. And those rules, boys and girls, were made for us by our moms and dads for us to be happy because we can get sick if our hands are dirty and we can get worn out if we don't go to bed at night and our teeth could get bad if we didn't brush our teeth. So we obey our mommy and daddy's rules to keep us happy. Well, do you know that when Moses grew up and became the leader for God, God gave Moses some rules for the people. Have you ever seen these? Those are God's rules. They are 10 happiness rules that God handed to Moses and Moses took to the people. Each was made on stone and they were cut into, the words were cut into the stone by God's very finger. And he gave each one. Now the ones on this side, this tablet of stone, they told about how we can love God the best and the most more than anything or anybody else. The first one tells us to always love God first. The second one tells us not to make any idols or things like that to worship, but only worship the true God. One tells us to only use good words when we talk about God. And this special one right here, that one tells us to remember to worship God on the Sabbath day, just like we're doing right now in Sabbath school and church. Now these on this side tell us how we can love our families and our friends the best. And how do we do that? Well, this one tells us to obey our mommies and our daddies and do what they ask us to do. That's a good rule, isn't it? And this one tells us not to hurt other people. Do you want to hurt other people? No. So this one tells us not to hurt people. This one tells us that mommies and daddies should love each other and only each other and only as mommies and daddies. This one tells us not to take things that don't belong to us. Is that a good thing to do? Should we take things that don't belong to us? No. This one here tells us that we should always tell the truth. Isn't that a good rule? Always tell what is true. This one tells us not to want things that belong to other people and not to be jealous of what other people have. All of these rules bring happiness to our lives, don't they? They're not there to give us a hard time. They're there to bring us happiness and so that we will love people and love God most of all. Let's look at these children. These children are with Jesus. Do you think they look happy? Yes, I think they do. Are they being kind to each other? Yes, they are. Is Jesus loving them? Yes, he is, and he loves us so much. That's why he wants us to obey his happiness rules so that we will be the happiest we can be. Now, here are some boys and girls today. Look at these children. 
Did somebody get hurt in this picture? Who do you think got hurt? Yes, I think he got hurt. He fell down and hurt his knee. How about this boy and girl? Are they treating him kindly and nicely? Yes, I think they are. Big sister is wiping his hurt knee and trying to make it all better. And his brother here is taking some bandages out that he can put on little brother's leg. That's being kind. That's showing Jesus love. And these children in this picture, I believe, are showing how to follow God's happiness rules. When we ask Jesus to help us to obey his happiness rules, will he help us? Yes, he will, won't he? I want to obey Jesus' happiness rules because I want to be happy and I want to follow Jesus. How about you, Annie? Do you want to follow Jesus today and obey his happiness rules? Me too. Let's ask Jesus to help us do that. Will you bow your head and fold your hands with me while we pray? Dear Jesus, will you please help us to follow your happiness rules because we know when we do that, then we will have joy in our hearts and we will be happiest of all. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's say our memory verse, shall we? And I'm going to show the picture here of Jesus again and the children. And let's say our memory verse one more time. Love me and keep my commandments. Exodus 20. Verse 6. Very good. Okay, boys and girls, that's the end of Sabbath school today. Let's get ready for our song. We've had a wonderful time with you this week, boys and girls. And we're going to miss you until we see you again next Sabbath. So let's say goodbye to each other, shall we? Our Sabbath song.